Okay, now we're going to do a quick rundown on the battery coding style in, in C. Now, I love coding in, um, in Nano because it, uh, it again, um, allows me to see any trailing white spaces and any um, spaces where I've used um, space instead of tab. Right. And also keep in mind that a tab has to be pretty much this long, which is not four spaces but rather eight of them okay but of course everything so this is the code that we are going to create okay so i've created in the file called intro.c but all right then we're going to restart. so now we're going to begin writing the code in c which is a simple hello world project then we're going to compile it, we're going to debug it and everything. Let me check Suppose that you already have it installed. Right. So right now I'm running um, Kali Linux. It's, it's a Debian Linux distribution. It's very much similar to Ubuntu. You probably have a on your web terminal for those who are using a Ubuntu sandbox. You turn it open. You nano so we're gonna say sudo apt install we're gonna say nano now enter once you're done now i already have um nano installed so it will not work out for me it should be able to install so apt that will go ahead and install nano for you right once you have nano installed to invoke nano The, the file name it's the very same thing that you do with Vim and Emacs all right so now we're going to create intro.c now because intro.c does not exist in intro.c if intro.c already existed it will open the file for you to edit all right now in my case it did not exist so that is a new file as you see so it's a file okay now we're going to create the code so we know include your header file so in this case I'm going to use standard io dot h that is the header file that I'm going to use and I'm going to put in the documentation um, in this case document and you know for each and every line you are going to expect an asterisk the line of course gonna close it with a slash now this is the good part of you did not close that line it actually faces it for you with the color for you to be able to see that comment so you need to close it for everything there to be seen as actual code because remember the document is not at all right so in here i can write my document for the entire script um okay i'm going to give it an author and i'm going to say um, returns zero. Yeah. I suppose that I will once I've done um, importing my header files and giving the documentation, I can actually that is int name. Now, because my function doesn't, I'm gonna put in a void and then open curly braces and then I'm gonna sort of close the curly braces and because code has to be indented when it's inside a function. Okay, and now I'm just going to say print f, open parenthesis, let, and then I'm going to say hello, comma, world. And I'll print a new line so that it does not have everything after that coming in the same line. We're just printing a new line in the end. Now we know in C at the end of each line column but not all the lines though nonetheless and then um, suppose I want to create some white spaces um, purposefully and then return I return zero 
semicolon. So I'm doing the return, which is zero. Return zero just means it's uh, it has executed successfully. Um, now that is the code. So I'm going to control X to save and then press Y. So now I've created the code. Now to test out the code, I need to compile it first. So to compile, we use So I don't need the C, I just need the intro part. So I'm going to say make intro and then hit enter. And then if there are any errors, it will display them for you. But in this case, I'm successfully. And I'm sure you can see that the output is in dot slash intro. And then there is a hello world, so my code has run successfully. Now, question is, is it Betty compliant? including the file extension of course so betty intro with c and then it complains so it says on line 12 and once again there is um, spaces at the start of the line so if you are using nano actually it will actually highlight it in green in my case it highlights that white space so that little block there in green that's a trailing white space so it allows me to actually go there and remove it so hit backspace so this is not a trailing white space but this is a trailing white space so i can go ahead and remove that and once again control x and y to save and enter okay now if we run that pretty shouldn't complain apart from a description which i will not stress too much about the description of the main function so once again that is how you check for trading white spaces and actually be able to see them and interact with them from your terminal.